old fashioned forgotten Christmas traditions. All right, next on the list, putting oranges in stockings. What no. the fuck? <laughs> you know what? It wasn't until I got with my fiance that they started when she loves doing parties like birthday parties and like she does like Halloween parties and shit like that. And anything that she can do, like party favor bags, she puts an orange in the party favor bags. But it's not a stocking though. It's weird. I thought it was weird as hell. And the first time I saw her doing it, I was like, what the hell are you doing with those damn oranges? And she's like, they're for the party bags. I'm like, who the hell? And to my surprise, everyone who got a party favor bag, the first thing they took out was a damn orange, peeled it, and they started eating it. I was like, huh? What the it hell? Was, yeah. Like, kids, I saw kids going for the orange over the candy. What the shit? It was weird. Whoa. Yeah. It's weird. I've so never even heard it. of this tradition. I've never heard of it either. But, like, it, it's they don't put it in stockings. But, like, in the party favorites, you know? It's a fucking hit. I guess. I mean, yeah. I, I, the stockings that I have above my chimney right now, like, they're they're holding on with clips. You, you put a fucking orange in there, the thing's gonna fall, man. <laughs> you know, so, I mean, there ain't gonna be no oranges in mine. <laughs> Couldn't hold candy canes, man. <laughs> That's... It's not, <laughs> Not yet. I don't even have stockings. <laughs> you know but what? you don't even have Christmas lights. No, I, I don't. Knew it. You know why? Because I am not forced to do it the day after Thanksgiving. That's fair. <laughs> Since you bring that one up, over on ruralsprout.com, they also have a list. But they have one that's that's that says they used to use real stockings. So they would use like real socks in their usual wardrobe. You know, and hang them up, and that would be their nope. stockings where they would put gifts and stuff in there. Nope. Imagine and, and, guns and unless you're, hanging unless up you're, his fucking sock, and it's like you're... all brown and shit, <laughs> and that bitch falls straight through because there's a fucking <laughs> hole in the toe. <laughs> they're, they're, they're not your socks, Coco. My, my That's socks what I'm saying. They're big. yours. Uh. -uh. Dude, imagine like a fucking, you put an orange in his damn sock and you start <laughs> on the floor. You know what? I honestly believe that's more like your socks because I've seen your socks recently too. I ain't gonna lie, dude. My socks are full of holes, man. <laughs> all of them. I, I swear to God, all of mine are new. I got them like maybe like three months ago. <laughs> no, I actually have. A, I started purging my socks, like the ones with the holes. Yeah, I, I started trying to do that, but then, like, man, like I overthink things. Like, I, I look at my side, be like, man, it's just what well, only one another. toe goes through this one. It's still good. <laughs> I bet your underwears are the same way too, huh, BB? They kind of are. <laughs> you should see the ones I'm wearing right now. <laughs> oh, uh, I'd rather not. Yeah, little BB was like, which opening do I go through? <laughs> oh. <laughs> the small hole or the smaller hole? <laughs> oh, I dig it. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> let's move on here. <laughs> Next one here that I'm looking at. Dressing up for Christmas dinner. Ain't that like just looking nice? Yeah, yeah. we still do that, I think. Yeah, like Christmas, New Year's, any. Yeah, I, I think that's still good. Yeah. yeah. Like, I personally don't. Like, when I went to Guns' house for Thanksgiving, I think I just wore a t-shirt and shorts. Just because, like, you know, our family is really laid back. Yeah. And so, I mean, you know, I think a lot of people still do dress up nice for, like, Thanksgiving and Christmas and stuff. I just don't think we do. Right. No, yeah, you're right. I know for this year, Thanksgiving, since it was just, you know, me and my wife, my kids, we didn't bother really dressing up. But whenever we do get together with family with you guys or her family or we, we typically dress up we you know i get the button up shirt and you know all the buttons yeah. are fighting for their lives uh, you know with the stretching there but yeah, <laughs> but yeah, yeah just yeah. curious has that ever happened they were on the, the buttons button? just no 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 I haven't, I haven't quite gotten there yet yeah dressing up i think you're right that, that one's still not it's irrelevant yeah yeah i think it's it's here to stay yeah sitting by real fireplaces Guns. I've done that. 
not recently, but I've done that. Yeah. I, didn't we used to do that too when we were younger? Just turn on the fireplace and then just open presents too sometimes? Yeah. Yeah. We just light it up and sit in front of it. Light watch it some, up. Uh, 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 light watch it some up, Dragon Ball uh, in Spanish. Uh, uh. <laughs> just, just, yeah. Yeah. We just sit by yeah. the fire, put our feet, put our feet up and warm them up. Yeah. No, I think that's still relevant. 100 percent i still throw a few logs in the fireplace and my fiance she loves sitting next to it because she's she gets really cold easily so like that fire keeps her warm since we're talking about the fireplace Uh maybe this one kind of goes hand in hand with it roasting chestnuts on an open fire no No. can't say that i've done that no never i've never done that i don't think i've ever seen a chestnut well i've seen them but i kind of don't even like the taste of it really so huh. I don't know how a roasted chestnut would even, you know, would it improve or anything, really. Yeah, if I were to see one, I don't know that I could point it out to you. Oh, I definitely couldn't point it out to you. I, <laughs> I would have to, you know, I'd be at the grocery store and I need that big-ass sign that says chestnuts. But <laughs> You still come home with the walnuts, wouldn't you? I have never tried it, so can't say. Like I said, I don't think I've seen them. So, no, that's a no for me. And you said no either, guns? No. Mm. Any desire to give it a shot? Not at all. Nah. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a hard pass. If anything, you can try and remove the chestnut without being burned. Oh yeah. Huh? I can do that. Might need to be a little faster Maybe than that, but uh, yeah. No, that I'm was just me going super slow motion so you could see. Oh right. Because right, if right, I were right. to go full speed, you, you wouldn't be able to see it, you know. <laughs> Yeah. What about uh, cutting down your own Christmas tree? No, no. And plus, I don't I think, think that's to... legal anymore. Like in a lot I of think, places. I think you have to pay for it. If anything, yeah, I, I know <laughs> that. Like, if you go into a forest or something, oh, your your ass is going to. <laughs> that's yeah. That state patrol is going to kick your ass, you know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, we we don't really have trees like that here in Texas. So again, maybe that's just another regional thing. Have y'all ever considered getting a real tree? I've done it. Yeah? For real? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, I have. I hear you got to keep I've... them, like, in water or something because, like, they dry mm-hmm. out really quick if you don't. They do dry out pretty quick, but I didn't keep it in water. I got it a day or two before the actual Christmas. Uh, and then okay. within, like, three to four days, it was, like, super brown. And But the thing is with those, it, like... It drops a lot of needles, huh? Yeah, that shit. It's very messy. And yeah. oh, you have to that's... be very careful because it's very flammable. Yeah, very, that's very flammable. Yeah, I, I've heard that some people don't even put in their lights on an actual Christmas tree because they could potentially light it on fire. Oh shit! I've I've never had a real Christmas tree. I've been curious about it just to experience it, you know. Mm-hmm. But after hearing that, I, I don't know if I even want to. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of extra work for nothing. Yeah, that, just to have and a you real have tree. Toddlers. Yeah, yeah no, I ha- I have heard that they're they're very fragrant though. So, like, if you yeah. want your house to smell like a forest, get a Christmas tree. Like, a uh, I was about to say that, like, very piney smell, yeah. kind of like oh, pine salt. You don't have to mop <laughs> no more. Right. Yeah, I, I've heard they're very fragrant. Hmm. So that's cool, I guess. And On then, this... like, when you when you grab put all that and moving it around, your hands are gonna smell it. Like, they're gonna be like sticky, and you're gonna smell it too. Ooh, like saps. Yeah, huh. that's interesting. Sucks. Yeah, I'm not I'm not doing that anymore. So on this tree. Have you ever put edible natural decorations? Nope. No. <laughs> I mean, like the photo yeah. I'm looking at, it's I'm looking at slices of oranges hung up huh? on the Christmas tree. Yeah. You're just inviting ants and fucking gnats and flies into <laughs> your house. Like it, you might as well go fucking drop off a handwritten invitation to them. No, right. actually, mm-hmm. I might be mistaken, but I think the natural odor of the real life tree, I think it deflects insects. If I'm not mistaken, I, I probably am, but It'd be an interesting concept. Get that anti ant, and then you can put your tr- your fruit up on the tree. But if it's edible, are you going to eat it off of a tree? Like, are you going to throw that shit away? Like, throwing it away, one hundred percent. Yeah, I, I don't think I, I'd want to eat it. Like it touched a tree. I don't. Want, I don't want to eat it. The only thing edible that I will put on a tree is a candy cane. Candy cane. That, that's that's fair. That's fair to say. Does it count as natural sugar? Nah. <laughs> Probably not. No. 
I would. Okay. Here, here, here's here's another one on the list that I know that hasn't died off, but it's less common now. Making homemade okay. gifts. Like, so BB, for you, spoiler alert, I, for Christmas, got you a handmade macaroni necklace mm, made mm-hmm. by yours truly. Yeah, yeah. Guns, don't worry. I got you. A, I got you a, a new computer. But because, you know, you already got your own, I'm, I'm going to keep that. So mm. you'll oh, probably no, get no, one no. of those too. This, this, this one is my dependent. So I'm going to need mine for my actual section. Ooh. No, no, you're already getting a, a, a macaroni bracelet. No, so no, 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 no. no, no. I, I, I prefer the other one. Mm. <laughs> but it's my gift to give, so. And the bracelet so is just so much I, more sentimental. No, I think I, I, I think the computer's more sentimental to me. I, I feel more sentimental. I feel like you actually care. I feel you actually thought out this gift. So I feel like that would be the better choice. Well, no, because it's sentimental because on each macaroni I put a different word and it spells out if you if you look at it it says world's okayest big brother so <laughs> sentimental all right, all right baby what's next we spent like five minutes fighting <laughs> over this next on the list mumming i had to read this one as well but mm-hmm, when mm-hmm. what it turns out to be is back in the day back in like roman times or whatnot they used to wear masks and they'd go out and just run amok they'd cause trouble they do you know do pranks and stuff on people and they just go out and have have a little good time party you know but like anonymously Uh. that was banned though because it kind of gave thieves and stuff an opportunity to run around and steal shit and cause trouble and you know more crime would rise and everyone would be wearing a mask so nobody could really know who it was so So basically they they had that one purging There you go. I guess wouldn't that be the same with Halloween? Like everyone's running around doing dumb shit, wearing a That's mask. True. You're right. I don't know. You're right. But yeah, I guess that one. That one's a no go. They kind of left it for Halloween. <laughs> yep. All right. Next <laughs> poems with presents. Nope. That would be annoying as hell, man. Like oh, each gift yeah. that you give out, you'd have to write a poem. Yeah. Man, I'd copy paste the shit out of that. <laughs> it's like roses are red, violets are blue. I hope this shirt fits on you. XO, right? X, XL? Yeah. yeah, definitely. XO, gotcha. XO. XX. That might be too small <laughs> for BB. You might mama. need a two or a three X. <laughs> Yo, mama. So, no poems from you guys? No, no poems no. for me. No, no, no poems. Okay. You going to start? I didn't bother. No. Yeah. No, still, still, I don't know. <laughs> Are you gonna start? Hell no. Oh, but you're Hell gonna start no. caroling, huh? Yeah, I'll, I'll do that one. Yeah, let's we'll start there. Okay. <laughs> Next one, one. Oh, you know what? This one kind of goes could go with the edibles on the tree, but the popcorn and cranberry garlands. You remember that? I nope. used to make that shit in school. Yeah. Where I'd, you'd get the the sewing yeah. thread, and then you'd like put it through popcorn, and yeah. Mm-hmm. Just like your macaroni necklace, but with popcorn. You could. I remember some people would uh, put it around their tree, and I always thought it was weird. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. One hundred percent weird. It was weird back then. It's weird now. Don't do it. <laughs> no, I think the closest to that would be edible underpants, undergarments. <laughs> Definitely know what I'm not getting you for Christmas. All right. All right. This one is also a little weird. Hanging gifts on the tree. No. I, I mean, guess I guess he's going down. Right. It would fall off, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm trying to think of the smallest gift that I'm I'm giving this year. And 100% I, I don't think the tree not. can support the weight. No. And this is like a shirt or socks, maybe, but. Or a macaroni bad. necklace. With BB, you know where to look. Next You might find me sleeping under the tree. That's next on the list. Mm, sleeping under the tree. No. No. Too many mm. gifts under it. Sleeping under a tree? Yeah, that's a weird one. Maybe that's just kids waiting for Santa. I don't know. I mean, I'm thinking about it now. Like, even if my kids were waiting for Santa, I'd put them in bed. I'm not going to leave yeah. them under the tree. You know? Yeah. And then, like, um, in, in the Santa Claus movie, the little girl who was waiting up for Santa Claus, she was in the couch. That is true. So, yeah, no, I, I, I couldn't see it. Hmm. Those heathens. Well, actually, that's the last one. Last one here. What? So... Yeah, those were some forgotten Christmas traditions. Not going to start any of those. 
It's up for caroling. I'm going to do that. I'll do that. And then Bungie's going to do poems for Gitch, right? Um, right, right, right. Right, right. right. 